Howdy fellow skeptics, Lester the Skeptic Tank here. I'm gonna give a slew of updates like I did in a previous two videos. As I said, been living through Amazon and I don't know if I'll ultimately do it, but I just linked myself up with Amazon Pharmacy Given what I've encountered at the Rite Aid, in terms of what they carry and don't, which kind of limits my options, um, particularly if, if somehow Amazon is able to provide me the some of the medicine I, I feel as though I need a refill, I'll probably give the doc a call about that but it is what it is and I've had good success finding certain supplements and medication and like I mentioned in my other video <laughs> I was able to find certain supplies that I wasn't able to get at Rite Aid so again cutting through the red tape not wanting to deal with the the bureaucratic mess I would find myself in if I try to go through the proper channels. That aside, a uh, few of my Amazon pickups and again just like the delivery options very grateful for that. Um, not that I am in need of isolation um, I don't think I, I've had that mindset. It's just, especially given that my workload has been pretty be busy of late, and I try to just reserve time that I need to reserve truly for appointments and the like, particularly given what you guys know about my situation. But uh, uh, other than that, I've been rather busy and, you know, I, I think I'm finding myself in a very consistent schedule. So real quickly, that's been waking up around 6, before 6, getting myself ready for the day, checking my weight, checking my blood pressure when waking. And usually, because my, my work schedule is pretty set, 8 to 5 on average, sometimes I'll start my day earlier, depending on what I perceive the work needs being and whatever energy I may have at that time. And then, towards the end of my day, or the end of the night, I'll eat, I'll likely have dinner, and then I'll shoot to go to bed 10 or 11 at the latest. Usually I've been trying to do 9.30 in the in the evening. So my, my schedule has become rather rigid, and it's now timed around when I have my meals. The most crucial ones being at 7 in the morning, 7.30, because that's when I take my meds. So that's what my schedule is been based around when I take my meds because most of my meds they usually recommend I have them with food so the typical times I have food are around 7 30 in the morning 7 30 at night so that means in between those times and also I've been squeezing in my workout my workouts and the nice thing about the way I track my workouts is that I can squeeze in my work schedule because there are there are time there are times in my day-to-day -day tasks that a time gap is presented and I fill that with exercise for maybe at least 30 seconds 
at most maybe a handful of minutes. But because of where my workout area is, it's just right by my workstation. And <clears throat> anyway, for those who want to know more, feel free, leave a comment, and I'll either type it out or I'll provide another video for that. But just going to say something about this delivery. And I'm a sucker for a good retrograde, as I, I mentioned in another video about the PS4 that, as I said, as much as I enjoy having the flexibility of my PC, my end state is such that I want to be in my Linux environment 90 to 95% of the time. If I'm pushed into a position where I have to go into my Windows partition, I will. But with the PS4 and what I've mentioned in the past about what I look for in games, it's becoming less of a need. And that I don't know how much of the gap it will fill, but the PS4 seems like a good medium. And especially since they're still making <clears throat> titles for it. And let me see. I'm going to see what happens here because... I've been to a lot of stores like Fred Meyer out here in the Northwest. And what gets me is, particularly with what I'm hearing about the PS5 and the trends surrounding it, the potential trends, kind of just giving myself proof. What's this, a physical disc? Exactly. And I also picked up some other games earlier this month or last month. Um, I ordered a UFC 4 and what else? Oh yeah, um, Zero Dawn, I think it is. Got that one from eBay. It was a recommendation for a childhood friend of mine. Um, picked up these. And no, it wasn't because of my fat, big fat Greek wedding. Although, I have to say, I, I still recall one of the babushkas of my parish. She was wiping one of the icon stands with the glass overlay. She was using Windex. <laughs> but I have to say, I use this on... I use one sheet. Um, I have ordered five of these so I can take advantage of the same-day delivery. Um, can't complain. Um... Uh, I've got pretty good mileage. It's not like a one and one one and done deal. Um, I was able to wipe both of my monitors and then my phone. Or no, I was able to wipe my phone and my MacBook monitor. But I would imagine I would get similar mileage for both of my displays. Both of my displays haven't gotten to that point. Um, yeah. Uh, and <laughs> trying to think of what else I ordered. Oh yeah. I ordered this as well. This had better specs than the what I had seen and shopped around. Oh. Uh, mainly because of the resolution offered. Every other frame offered was using 1200 by 800. 
This supposedly does full HD, which is cool. I was inspired to pick up another one after the one I got from my old job. Went kaput. <laughs> Should have known sooner that it went kaput. Um, the only thing is, you know, with a lot of things from Amazon, or that one country, I'll just use my ancestral language to refer to it. Those who know, they know. Don't cook. And... Just figuring my my tinfoil hat, what I can do to just put pictures and videos on via micro SD card it looks like, and load pick load the stuff that way. I like it when I connect this via Wi-Fi. I don't see a real need. I did look at the manual. They said there's an app available. Not gonna go there with that. It's pretty hefty looking. I just gotta find the right place to. Hang it up and find the right mounting because I think this would do well maybe above my coffee stand. Let's see if I can. I don't know if I want to subject you guys to my mess that I'm trying to reorganize, but the other thing too is uh, just a little bit of a I don't know if it's a gripe, but I go back to this question, what's my end state? And and that, that doesn't just matter for martial arts because that's where I first heard it. But my computer technology choices and decisions are based off of what's my end state. Uh, for example, I use a trackball, and I know I've gotten grief from an old housemate, like I'm an old geezer for using a trackball, but real quick, I like the trackball because depending on the mouse and the settings are availed, you're going to require a good amount of desk space. The trackball is nice because that way I don't worry about my range of motion, especially if I'm looking to, because I ran into something with this. As you can tell, it's a, oops, it's a cordless trackball, and I just have certain misgiving of, misgivings about wireless peripherals like keyboard and mice. I haven't gone into the 21st century as far as those go. Like, I still don't find a need for a wireless keyboard. Unless I'm going to do a presentation, but there are other devices that you can use to present stuff. And I still don't personally find the need for that. However, I did order a corded mouse left-handed. And yes, I I can do either hand. It's just that in my mind I have this conviction that since I realized my mom admitted to forcing me to do things right-handed, like writing, I've kind of been on this little movement that I'll use my left hand as much as I can. Even though my writing still has some catching up to our, my right hand, but that's kind of expected, especially if you don't use your left hand for writing consistently or for long enough. Anyway, um, let me see if I can bring the camera over to... Highlight what I've done in my workspace. Let's see here. Oh. Don't know if you can see that, but this is what I have now. This is so I can get used to... So I can get used to using my corded mouse when it arrives tomorrow. So that that's that's at least the the plan. That's what I'm 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 looking to do and seeing uh, if I can get something out of that. Like I said, I'll have to do some adjusting. Um uh, but what I do appreciate 
making the switches that I can use my keyboard tray to hold my MacBook because sometimes my workday will involve flipping between my desktop and my MacBook depending on what I need to do. So I've Oh yeah, I think I teased this. This is the blower I got. It did the job. Um, my computer still works. <laughs> and what else did I? So yeah, going back to the whole uh, picking up stuff from Amazon. Right. <laughs> it just makes things so convenient anyway. I think that'll do it for now. Um, well, for those who are curious, given that you guys know I've been wrestling with the type 2 diabetes, and in all honesty, I'll probably do something more in depth. It's just going to be something about upgrade your training. Upgrade your training. But anyway, I've been do I've been trying to weave what I learned in my paleo days and I'm trying to get back to those. And mainly the the phenomenon around intermittent fasting. And in it's not only a way of you know helping my health but the less food you consume throughout the day. I mean, like I said, I have to time it around my meds. And so, and the other thing too, just an update is like, I haven't been logging my food as much. Kind of like, I kind of, like my boss once said earlier in the month, like at some point it'll become second nature. And I have an idea of, what my macros are going to end up being. So like, I know that's a tablespoon. I know that's this amount of ounces. So it's been interesting just trying to wade the waters of, of reconciling what I learned from the two con dietary consults I had. There are some things I I understand, and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. I can go with that. Or typically when they talk about you, you don't want to skip a meal, but at the same time, the the premise behind the keto diet or using fat as your fuel source is that you're shifting from fat to glucose. So... I'm weaving around that, and I'm not, I don't, I don't think I'm even trying to be very low carb. Very low carb is like, if I understand it right, <clears throat> 20 carbs, 20 grams of carbs per day. Then no, I'll have like five, ounce, uh, five ounces of sweet potato, four ounces of sweet potato per meal. And it's just about the quality of the carbs. And... <clears throat> Especially the, the quality of your food. Like, I get it. And especially if I'm doing a workout routine, you know, I need some of that replenishment. Oh, and the big thing is I've been trying to get better at stretching. So, of course, warming up, but then there's always the cool down I often neglected. Even for someone like myself who's active or was active. But I've been trying to do a better job of stretching at night, which has helped my uh, sleep to a degree. Uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. Um, I'm going to give, I'm going to give a top spin of a whirl. I haven't fired up the PS4 in a while, and I figured... I got it for a reason. I just can't grind away all the time. Gotta entertain myself in addition to the YouTube channels I follow, the YouTube content I consume, and some of the movies like 
been thankful that I have that. So, until next video, fellow skeptics, peace out, and I'll catch you all on the other side. <clears throat>